Hello, I'm Glenn Toby. I'm a Spring Forest Chicago master and a psychotherapist. The theme of this talk today is on longevity with a specific focus on wounds. You can kind of see around me that the snow and ice and it's winter up in Duluth, Minnesota, northern Minnesota. You know, remember, longevity is about wanting to live a long time in order to understand who you are. And that usually takes a long time to understand all the dynamics to understand who you are. Well, a few weeks ago, I was going to work early in the morning. I was carrying two bags with handles. I was walking down the sidewalk that has an incline to it, and I slipped and fell, you know? And I got up, I didn't hurt myself. Other than there was a little kind of a, a you know, like a pull on my arm, you know, from the bag I was holding, you know? And, you know, it wasn't bad and all that kind of stuff. So I got back up and I walked to the office and did my stuff. You know, I thought in a day or so, the, you know, the little aggravation will go away, the wound will go away. And then I, I got out of my office, you know, and went home later on in the day. And guess what? You know, in my car, you have to, when I'm going to put my bags in there, I have to uh, put my backpack on. So I lift it up with my left arm. Oh, oh. So then I have to remember. So I put my bag in the back of the car, you know, and then I put the, the, the trunk down with my left arm. Oh. You know, then I got in my car and started the car and I closed the door with my left arm. Oh, you know, so I went to the grocery store and I got food in the grocery store and I picked up the two bags. Oh, all these things that keep aggravating my wound, you know. So really, what has caused my wound? Is it the sidewalk that's responsible? Is it the ice on the sidewalk that's responsible? Is my repetitive not thinking about the lifting up the trunk or closing the door with my left arm or holding the grocery bags, you know, at the grocery store, are they responsible for my wounds? You know, are the bags that I was carrying to, in the first place to go to work, you know, are they responsible? Who's responsible for the wound that's going on in my arm? The repetitive wound, I'm keeping the wound active. It's my way of life that has caused this wound. You know, it's the choices that I've made to carry the bags, to walk down the sidewalk, to walk on the ice, to go to my car, to lift my car, to close the door, to go to the grocery store, to pick up bags. Those are my choices that I've made. You know, these are the decisions in my life that I make. Predominantly, these are the ones that are causing my wounds. Now, if you see some article or a TV show in a while about this guy with a baseball bat hitting the sidewalk or hitting the car trunk or smashing in the, the left door or going to the grocery store and smashing the bags, that would be me saying what? It's all these outside things that have caused my wound. So really none of these things have caused my wound other than my way of life, my choices of life, my decisions of life. I understand more complicated things than that, heartache or trauma. But the more I focus on, you know, what decisions have I made in my life? You know, what choices have I made in my life? You know, what is my way of life? How do I want to respond to things rather than hitting everything outside me? You know, hitting the sidewalk, smashing my car and attacking the grocery store probably won't help the wound, it'll probably what? <laughs> Aggravate the wound. wound. I'll be hitting the, with my baseball bat going, ow, 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 but it doesn't help. So my way of life is what? The nurturing, the nurturing, taking the understanding of your own way of life. So everywhere you've gone, those are the choices you make. These are the decisions you make. So the wounds that you have, yes, there's that outside influence, of course, influence, but not cause. So always take a look at the influences, but the cause is where? In your heart. Thank you for listening to me.